Oh my! I did two runs through the game. I still haven't found all three secrets that have trophies for them. Or whatever. Uh, surprisingly, I'm really bad at this. So we need to go back to one. It's 50 levels. You can spend about, I'd say, an hour to three hours. Depending on whether, depending on if you're average at platformers. Or you don't play mobile games a lot. Or you're really, really good at or like you're really good at platformers, which will mean first time you can actually get half an hour to an hour if you're that good. You can go at your own pace. I'm personally gonna do the fastest run I can because I know where everything is too. In your second playthrough, it's gonna go down to guaranteed it not even an hour. Like, about 20 minutes, probably. Hello, my last creature. Yeah, it speeds up, because it's supposed to be glitched. It's a part of the game. Uh, every glitch hint you can actually... Like, there's hints in every level, but you have to really pay attention to the dialogue. If someone could read it, it has like little symbols and hints that are supposed to tell you what to do. But you don't really need the hint, dude. It's not, it's not a hard game. It's not that hard, at least. I mean, you'll die at least. Anywhere between three, if you're elite, and 20 times if you're not that big on platformers. Which, even then, is not that much time. That many deaths, I mean. It's really sad that this game is so short. I wish it was, like, 200 levels. I'd play it for ages, I'd have, I'd love this game so much, and they could, like, actually build upon it, they should make this a computer game and expand upon it, and then I'd actually, this would be, like, one of the better platformers out there, and it would, if they did that, it would easily topple Fez. Not Hollow Knight, not Shovel Knight, not Cuphead, but Fez. And I'm not counting AAA platformers because they're AAA. They're kind of meant to be good, and they're with a huge team, so it's really unfair. <laughs> if you're on a phone, by the way, and you're expecting if it's a platformer game to be Mario Odyssey, or at least, like, Mario Maker, don't, don't expect that. It's a, it's a mobile game, it's, not a lot of them actually hits really good spots. Like, a lot of them are, or whatever, a lot of them aren't really that good because it's really hard to manage the storage that this some, most of the devices have because you're gonna be taking a lot of pictures and videos and you're gonna be downloading a lot of apps so it's like a lot of storage management even for the big phones because those usually allow the person to not be afraid to take a billion pictures and they are going to <laughs> so
so it's like, yeah, I don't, I don't, let's just concentrate. That was bad. Uh, the first time I went through this, I actually really struggled with this level. I don't know why it's not even hard. Because, because it's, yeah, it's not even hard. There we go. I guess that works. Holy cow. That was lock. Oh my god. <laughs> I'd still say it's better than Fez. It's just your preference. Fez is neat. I really like it, but Fez is actually one of my favorites. But because I just love platformers and I love puzzle games too. Not like in solely puzzle games, but when they twist it up with puzzles. And I don't mean, like, temples in Legend of Zelda. I mean, like, just general puzzles, like portals. I got stuck on a level and says, <laughs> it was really sad. It was the one... I can't even... I can't perfectly describe it to make you understand it, so yeah, I'm not even gonna try to explain it. I was stuck there for ages though, and I have, I refuse to look up a guide for platformer games. And I refuse to look up a guide for Majora's Mask, and when I get Breath of the Wild, I will look up no guides for that. And when I get Horizon Zero Dawn, I won't even need a guide because <laughs> from the look of it, I've seen like, all I've seen is the, f the entire phase where you're a kid and then a little into uh, the adult thing with Horizon Zero Dawn. It's not that complex. <laughs> like they're, those games are very straightforward so it's even sadder when you're not. When you're actually having to use a guide. Well, shoot. Oh yeah, cause that happened. Holy cow! Oh my gosh. I'm 
really bad at this. Oh my gosh. The I really hate this uh thing. This this level I absolutely hated. This is the, the it's because of the stupid placement of the objective item. I I haven't paid attention to what it's called. I not even sure if it's called anything specifically. I'm gonna call it orb. Just an orb. That's it. No orbies. That's what it is. It's just orbies, guys. What are you talking about? He's on a quest to find orbies. Don't those fix games? Don't don't those fix buggy games? Cause as far as I've seen at the end, spoilers, even though if you're watching this whole playthrough, you're gonna get it if you watch it all the way through. Like I said, full playthrough. I wasn't joking. And I'm not gonna hide the end. So we'll put in the title plus ending. Uh, it's not that... It's like it has not that big of a story. I mean, if, if they just added a little more though... And a lot more levels, this could really be a good game. Again, also, if they added, uh, like, different versions to the game. Because the controls on mobile for platformers really tend to suck. And this shows it best because it's really good. But the controls are just... They're really awkward. Like, they make sense, but, like, at the same time, I'd prefer... That was a visual bug, by the way. I'd prefer just straight up using a keyboard or something to play this. Like, if they made a... They should get this on Steam if it's not already on it. I'm not sure, because I don't have Steam. Because I have a Mac, and Mac is, does not, my dad says my, Steam is not liked by Mac. <laughs> and I totally see that. Why? There we go! Holy cow. Yep, it's this one. Oh, this one's really easy. I say that as I'm dying over and over. Get out the way. That was a bug. It's also has a <laughs> Apparently, I'm just noticing this because I'm actually doing some weird stuff. It has a ton of visual bugs. Fix the visual bugs. More levels. A slightly more understandable story. Yeah, I'm screwed because I did that. 
You can never be sure what level it is because it doesn't stand out, but that's absolutely fine. It's it fits its theme well. And I absolutely hate myself because I'm not good at this. Like you have to be like it most levels will repeat or no, most levels will have a very similar level with a very similar structure much earlier or much later. Why did I wait there? At like the edge? Like I had time to move. <laughs> See this? Bam. That was luck, because I was not being smart then. Oh my gosh! By the way, we're over halfway through the game. That's how short this game is. It's not very time consuming after you know what you're doing. And yes, I know I've probably missed a lot of secrets. But that's because I've always been trying to go fast through these. A lot of people are probably just worse, so they tend to find the secrets faster. Or more easily because they have to explore more to figure stuff out. Because they can't. With simple knowledge of platformers. Which is. So I, I kind of wish it was bad. For the first playthrough. I just acted bad. Or just took more time. Even more time. Because if you take 100% time to get all secrets. And in your first playthrough. And take your time to analyze it. And just enjoy it rather than rush, then this game can actually be a total of four hours, but even then, that's not an impressively long game. I mean, but I've seen PS3 games that are $20 uh, and are only three hours, and they're not even that amazing. I'm looking at you. Freaking, oh my gosh. I'm looking at you, Star Wars Unleashed 2. Or whatever it's called. I, I can't remember. I, I'm not good at memorizing names and stuff. You should know that, though, if you watch my channel. If you've seen enough of my videos. Which I really don't have a lot of videos, and I should probably get more consistent upload schedules, but... Like, at least if I'm not gonna upload a lot, make it once a week. Instead of once, like, ten a, in one day and then just not uploading for a month. Holy cow, I act actually hate this. <laughs> Freaking... Yeah, 
yeah, there's a few levels that are quite annoying. I still love this platformer for what it's trying to be. Okay, I found an efficient way of doing this. Are you kidding me? We're straight up bad. Are you- I- Oh my gosh, I give up. Why am I dying so much at this- On this level? Stop with your stupid grammar and your stupid bad memory. Kip, jump off a cliff. <laughs> like, seriously. I'm sweating because my brain can't comprehend this stupid game. It's, well, not stupid. I just stop being disrespectful. My gosh, it's not easier, it's harder. What do you, what did I do? What did I do that got me past that point? Efficiently, I like never, I died here twice in my, once in each of my two playthroughs. That's why. You're retarded, kid. Get a brain. I thought that, but then it's like, no, 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 brain. You stupid. Jump us cliff. Like, my brain is, it's mess, this game is messing with me. Like, it's so, the stupid chicken! It's not even a, I can't even say it's a chicken. I don't, what are these abominations? They're like chicken blobs. And why did I, I st every time I reach there, I, my character just decides to sort of stop moving. It's like, what am I doing to stop moving? I didn't do anything, exactly. Why are you dying on this stupid freaking gear? <laughs> my gosh. I, I swear this is bullcrap. <laughs> Could have. This is not. This is easy, okay? This level is so easy. This is guaranteed. Like, I can't lie about this. This is easy. I'm not lying. It's really not that hard. My, the con Okay, the controls are finally getting to me after all this time. A lot of people were complaining about the controls and, like, What's the matter with them? And then, of course, the playthrough after I see the reviews. It's like, oh, yeah, the controls are, like, weird. Some do complain the buttons are too big. They're not big at all. <laughs> They're too close together. Okay, this is the last level. Before the ending. That was also... Why am I getting frame rate drops on a game like this? Why am I getting frame rate drops on a game like this? Did you see those frame rate drops? It was a smooth 60 FPS. Or at least 30 considered it sprites. So it doesn't need to be all that... Like, it's really simple animation. So it's not like you need... A lot of well, gameplay is it always got to be 60 FPS, unless it's 
not an extremely fast paced. Like it's it's a slow paced 3D game. Then yeah, 30 FPS is fine. This is the end, by the way. You did it. Now I can reboot the system. Thank you. Hey, here we are now. This is the end. Twenty six minutes. I bet you you can beat this game in ten or a little over or a little under ten. If you went as fast as possible. But that's so hard. If I didn't die though, I'd still probably hit fifteen minutes and be on with my day. But yeah, that was read, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and bye! Why do I copy Stampy? <laughs> yeah, I need to make a decent outro, guys, and an intro. I'm going to make an end card to this video for the first end card ever. Also, the... Yeah.